Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Cynthia and today I have a thrift haul for you guys. So this is a collective thrift haul. A lot of the pieces I did get online, but I have a few pieces that I actually thrifted in person from two months ago or almost two months ago. And before I forget, please make sure to like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram. I do secondhand fashion, thrift hauls, thrift content, all that good stuff. So please make sure to subscribe. I have no idea what I'm doing with my hands. So yeah, let's get into the haul. So I was going to start with the stuff that I got in person, but I am so excited about this particular item that I just, I need to show it. Like, the best for first, and they are. I finally got the Doc Martin Jadens. I mean, look at how beautiful they are. I mean, okay, so they are the black mono Jadens, uh, the vegan ones. They are absolutely in perfect condition. They have like a scuff that I just can't even see. Um, but I finally found some for a really good price, secondhand on Poshmark, so this is my first item. I've only worn them once, but I already love them. Let's move on to the two pieces that I got off of Depop from the same seller, actually. The first piece is this lace little, kind of looks like a cape, but it has sleeves, coverall, I'm not sure what to call this, but it's a vintage lace little cover-up, very pretty, very delicate. I love it. And then the second piece is this, is this beautiful puff sleeve dress. It has the most adorable black, the most adorable white embroidered hearts and that stretchy material at the bust, cute little puff sleeves. It's a maxi dress or a midi dress. It's long. It has a cute slit and I love it. I love the dark cottage core vibes it's giving me. So love that. Let's move on to the next piece that I got online. I got this off of eBay. It's a vintage Dawn Joy Fashions dress. It has a really cool exaggerated color and a I don't know what this is called, but it reminds me of Sailor's uniform. And the main reason that I was drawn to this particular dress is the sheer sleeves with these beautiful faux pearls and just the pearl buttons. Oh, it's, it's so beautiful. I don't normally wear a lot of white, but I really like this kind of off-white color. I think it's more flattering with my skin tone. So, I got this. I will be trying it on and be kind of telling you what I'm planning to do to this dress. Okay, these last three pieces I got at the St. Vincent de Paul shop here in Houston. The first is this vintage Ferrari by Philippe dress. It's a black dress with a cowl neck and these puff sleeves. I mean, is there a trend? Yes, puff sleeves. Uh, and this dress is just absolutely beautiful. It looks very fancy and I just am thinking of making it a little bit shorter and just belting it. And the next is a piece very similar to the white dress. It's funny because I actually bought that dress first and then I found this one in person the last time I went thrift shopping. So it's very similar, it's a vintage Rampage, size 7, in this amazing purple. I mean, wow. And it has these very pretty, colorful gold buttons that remind me of Sailor Moon for some reason. It also has the back little sailor thing. And this one is a bit big on me, so I do have plans to alter it. And the last piece is this vintage Jeffrey and Dara Petites by Linda Hutley. And it's a jumpsuit or yeah, jumpsuit and it's 
it actually fits perfect. It has these really pretty fluttery puff sleeves, these rose or flower embellishments in the front, a nice wide leg, it ties at the back. It's just, it's the jumpsuit that I've always wanted and it's finally mine. So now I will be trying these on and giving you more of my thoughts on if I'm gonna alter them, what I'm gonna do to them, all that stuff. So let's do that. Okay. So here is the dress. Like I said, it has these really cute puff sleeves. It's very nice and fitted here and let me walk a little back. It has that slit, like I said. And here are the Jadens, which I think we're just made to be worn with this. So here's the two pieces. I'm not sure if this really goes with this outfit, but just so you can see what it looks like on it. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't wear this together, but here it is. Like I said, it kind of looks like a cape, but it has these sleeves. With this really cool ruffle detail. I mean, just how cute is that? Then you can tie it up in the front. Like that. And yeah, nice <laughs> movement. Okay, here is the vintage Don Joy dress. Like I said, it has amazing exaggerated collar with this really beautiful lace embroidery, whatever. Super cute. The sleeves, so adorable with little pearls and the buttons. So like I said, it is a bit big. Actually, it's a lot big. I forgot how big it is. So my plan for this is to hem it quite a bit, make it into a mini dress, maybe about there, and then maybe even take it in a bit or get a matching belt so I can belt it. Not sure yet. Definitely want to hem it first and then see how I feel afterward. So that's my plan for this dress, but it is beautiful. And the next dress is the black one. Like I said, it has kind of like this baby puff sleeve, really nice cuff, cowl neck. And this is what it looks like. Like I said, it is a little big. I think the elastic is worn out, but if I belt it, like with this belt, and just kind of cinching the waist, I think it looks really nice. And all I'm thinking of doing to this one is just bringing it up to kind of be a mini length. Like I said, I would get way more wear out of it like this, so that's my plan for this one. Here is the purple dress. Like I said, really nice exaggerated collar. It has a little back thing. And this one is also pretty large. So same plan, hem it, make it into a mini. This one definitely will need to be taken in a bit. And then the sleeves. I might shorten the sleeves. I'm not a huge fan of this sleeve. It's kind of just long and kind of large. Just, yeah, I think I'm gonna shorten it or maybe cut it off all the way. Not sure, but still has a lot of potential. Really cute. And the last piece is the jumpsuit. Super cute, like I said buttons, little sleeves, ties at the back, and this one is perfect. I love the wide leg, very greasy. Um, kind of looks good with these dogs too, I mean, and definitely just needs to be ironed because <laughs> it is super wrinkly, but it actually fits perfect as is, and I love it. I think it will be perfect for the fall and winter. So that is it for this week's video. I hope you enjoyed. I had a lot of fun trying on those pieces and thinking of how I want to alter them into my ideal or perfect pieces. So 
Be on the lookout for a thrift flip video coming soon. I will be getting a sewing machine soon so that I don't have to hand sew everything because that takes way too long. So I hope you enjoyed. Please make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you next week. Bye!